Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a 3D business infographic staircase design. So this is how the slide looks. When I click, it will show you the first data. You can see here I have added the numbers, the icons here in a 3D cube format. And you can have a, a detailed text here which is data A. And when I click, it will show you the text too then the 3, the option 4, option 5 and lastly the option 6. So let's see how to create this beautiful 3D infographic slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the slide background color. Right mouse click, go to format background and select the gradient fill. I have used two colors which is a uh, ice blue and a uh, very light ice blue color or you can use any different color and then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle by holding the shift key and make it a 3d effect for that right mouse click go to format shape under effects go to 3d rotation under presets select this one which is isometric top up which is under parallel so i'm going to select this now it has been changed to this now i'm going to give a uh, one more which is the depth width so here if you see go to 3d format and under the depth increase the size increase the size according to your requirement maybe i'll keep 35 and then you can come to contour and you can change the color to white so that the border colors the lines becomes white and material whichever effect you need you can select any effect for example if i need this one in the lighting i need may need this so whatever it's up to your choice to do that one so once this is done just put aside here and if you want to change the color you can come to the shape fill and select any color of your choice maybe i'll select a green color and shape outline also i can select the same color or if you want you can select a different color also all right then press ctrl d to duplicate add one more next to the first one and one more so i'm going to add three here bring in the center and then you can change the color maybe you can want orange and outline also if you want different outlines you can do that one or you have to go again to this and change the lightning so that it will reflect something like this you can see this one this also and this also i'm just going to make it the same so for this i have selected the standard and lightning i have selected this so i'll select the same thing and lightning okay so this also i'm going to select the lightning this one and then you can change some different colors now once this is done i'm going to add two more at the top so i'll select this press ctrl d and i'm going to increase the depth of this one so i'll just increase maybe 250 and i'm going to place here and add one more and place it the other side 
and then I'm going to add the last one at the top press ctrl D again increase the width if required and then add it here then it's time to change the color of each one You can go to more colors and select any color of your choice. And the last one, maybe I'll select this color. Now our design is almost ready. Now what we have to do is we have to add the the numbers and the icons here first I'm going to add the numbers go to insert text box and type maybe 01 or you can use uh, ABCD also I'm going to change the font to Oswald increase the size a little bit I'll zoom in and I'm going to place the text here but the text is not in sync with the shape so for that I'm going to go to effects again or you can go to the text options text effects and here I'm going to say the same thing select the parallel isometric so you got this one and then if you want you can increase the transparency level of the text so it will look something like this press ctrl d add it here this will be 2 Control D one more So let me just add the numbers and then I'm going to change it So this will be two three four five and six then if you want to insert the icons you can go to insert you can select the icons from here you can select any icon by default I have selected this icons here so I'm going to use this icon so I'm going to place this icon here but as usual this is I have to change this select the same effect here and increase the transparency level so you can you got this one so now I'm going to use this format painter and paint it here so double click the format painter add click on all the icons and then start placing the icon so I'm going to place this icon here you can reduce the size the size is bigger so this is my third fourth fifth and the target is sixth now it's time to add the the detailed text here I'll just select all the objects and bring somewhat down and then you can add the text so this is for the first I'll give the title here make it center aligned reduce the size you can make it bold 
and you can add the detailed text I'll just say equals to lorem which will give me the text or uh, Latin text I'll reduce the size to 10 or I can use the justify and I'm going to use the gray color so this is my gray color is not that visible so align the text this both and group it control G and control D to duplicate and add next to each other Control D, this is for this. All right. Now, uh, before we do the animation, I'm just going to group all these objects. I'm going to select the text, the numbers, the icons and the text and press Ctrl G to duplicate it. So you can see it has become one group. Likewise, I'll select the number, the icon, the 3D cube and the text, press Ctrl G to duplicate it. So you have to do it for all, one by one. I'm going to select this. And the last, Control G. So it has become all the groups now. Let's do the animation. To do the animation, go to animations, enable the animation pane. I'm going to select the first one. I'll just say a fly in or I can select all. Let me just delete this. I'll select all one by one. One, two, three, four, five and six. And I'll say fly in. Fly in, I will start on click so it will happen on click one by one so if you see here if i play the animation first second third fourth fifth and sixth actually this has gone the if you see here the first is coming second third instead of fourth fifth is coming so i'll just say this one should go up now if I play, I think this is perfect, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So if you see here, the text is, if I play here, 1, 2, 3, the text is all is coming from the top. So I can do, select all this, 1, 2 and 3. Go to format and say send to back. Now if I play again, one, two, three. So you can see it's coming from the back. That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.